Amen. But I'm going to pray for you that the Lord will continue to supply your need. That's what Paul said, that he was praying to people who gave or praying for people who gave. So he's saying, I'm going to pray that you'll continue to get because I know you're going to give. Amen. So I'm not praying for people. I'm not praying for you right now if you ain't giving nothing. I'm praying for people. I'm very serious. I'm praying for people. The Philippian church were always giving. Amen. And Paul said, I pray that God would what? Supply your needs according to what? His riches in glory. That's my prayer for you today. That he will supply your needs because he can trust you to further his cause. Amen. So instead of doing the offering exhortation and praying that, you know, jobs and better jobs, I'm going to pray because some of you get jobs and better jobs, but we don't see your tithe and offering. So I'm being very specific this morning. Father, we thank you for your people. Many of your people are struggling. Many of your people are caught in financial situations that is embarrassing. And it seems as if there is no way out. But Lord, I bring them before you. I bring forth their ability to handle your money. As, as, as one of our ministers said, God, that everything belongs to you. And it's how we handle it that's going to determine whether you're pleased or not. And when you're pleased, you give us more. Amen. Because you can trust us to be faithful stewards. So I'm asking you to bless those, God, who are faithful stewards. And to deal with those who still mishandle your money. Lord, prick their consciences and awaken them. And teach them how to do what you want them to do with your resources. And Lord, I thank you for jobs and better jobs. I thank you for raises, people who have been faithful on their job. And they need to get the bonus and the raise that you planned for them. Lord, I'm asking you to cancel debts. My God, my God. I'm asking you to cancel debts this morning. Situations that's causing families to be in trouble compromising their very place where they sleep and compromising the food that they eat and many things are just in trouble because of mismanagement or lack of but God the cattle on a thousand hills belong to you send some cattle by this way ah God shed of a horse the silver and the gold are mine you said send some silver and gold this way we don't know what the economy is going to be like next year. We don't know what's going to happen in the White House. But in the church house, you can make a way out of no way. Lord, help your people to trust you, to obey you, and to do what you ask them to do with their resources. Help them to give unto you because you're a good, good father. And Lord, we thank you that you have ways of blessing us that we don't even imagine. We're so stuck on just a salary. And we should have a salary if we work. We're so stuck on benefits. And we should have benefits. Because that's what they promise. But they don't always give us what they promise. My so Somebody's 401k is compromised right now. We don't know about social security by 2030. But we know that you're a God that always makes room for your people. David said, I was young and now I'm old. And I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bled. Set it up, God. Set it up. Set it up. Work it out, God. Work it out. Work it out. Cancel that debt. Lord, rebuke the interest rate that just went too high. Lord, all of the stuff that they tacked on, that they tacked on to keep us in financial bondage and financial slavery. Lord, it's a means of slavery. Oh, God, because the borrower is a slave to the lender. But God, work it out. Break the spell of borrowing shepherd of the unsoul in the mighty name of Jesus help us to have financial sense quicken us God teach us what to do with your resources and while we're talking right now while we're talking to you right now while we interceding right now while we call in you right now while we trust you right now while we praise you right now send that person that's going to pay for five 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 Oh, yeah. oh, my, 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 my. The devil said it would never be. We have doubters in the place. We have skeptics in the place. We have pragmatists in the place. But we have God in the place. 
Hey, Shema, my God, show up, Holy Ghost, show up. They think we are crazy for believing you. They laugh at us because we ain't got no big financial strategy. Oh, but the cattle belongs to you. And all you got to do is speak the word. Speak it, God. You know who you got to, to back us up. You know who you got to underwrite. Send the underwriter. God hear them also. Send the check, send the check, send the check. Lord, send the owner, send the owner. Write it off, write it off, write it off. My God, I stand believing that you can write it off. Don't let him sleep until he writes it off. Wake him up until he writes it off. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. See about your people. Money are so. We are being oppressed right here. But lift the oppressor. Take it off our backs. Destroy the yoke that has us in a position of being confined. Loose the confinement. Somebody help me please up here. Put your hands together when they hear you praising. Come on in here, so. Oh, come on, come on. I need a believing church right now. I need a believing church for your household. For the church. For the nation. For those who are in trouble. Come on and praise him. He's a prayer answering God. I said he's a prayer answering God. Come on and thank him. Glory.